Editor-in-Chief Speaks. Hello everybody, this is Nia Pierce, Editor-in-Chief at SheAttack.com, and this is the very first episode of EIC Speaks. If you don't know what EIC means, it means Editor-in-Chief. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you get that already. Um, Shoutouts to the gameplay in the background. So those of you guys who don't know what this is, it is an indie shooter called ET Armies or Extraterrestrial Armies on Steam. I will put a link in the description to the game on the store page so that you guys can check it out. It's a cool game so far. I just started delving into it. It's $15 on Steam and uh, you should check it out whenever you get the opportunity. So let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand. And I was talking to my second in command over at She Attack, Erica, aka Eric Cuts for the Win, and we were talking about um, the NX controller and she asked me if I would like to speak on it for the website. Um, she's already written an article about it at sheattack.com about um, the possibilities of this controller. We know that it's, de it's debunked now, but the possibilities of the controller if Nintendo were to make that controller um, based on that concept that we saw some time ago because it is based on an actual patent that came from Nintendo headquarters. With that, I just want to say that uh, I'm glad that the controller is fake. I'm glad that the actual thing that we saw on the internet was fake. But it also does beg the question of um, how much of it is fake. You know, obviously we know that the patent is real, but just like with many other controllers, like with the quote unquote boomerang controller from the PlayStation 3 that was the quote unquote concept of the quote unquote leads controller. It wasn't accurate in the way that it was shaped, but obviously that controller did have some similarities with what we saw from the dual shock, like the analogs and the button placement and things like that. But I mean, I guess that's not really too good of a comparison because the PlayStation controller hasn't really changed too much from the PS1 days aside from the analog add-ons. But the point that I'm trying to make is that even if something is a concept, it does tend to have some similarities to that initial concept. And I guess what really begs the question is, how much of the NX controller from what we saw from the leak is actually true? For example, is it gonna have just a screen with no buttons? Like, is that gonna stay on the actual controller itself whenever we do have the real thing? Is there gonna be second screen gaming? Is it gonna have the mouse scroll wheels that are supposed to take place of actual triggers. You know, there's so many questions that come from that. So, you know, I just kind of wanted to, I guess, leave a little food for thought. Just how much of this is accurate, not even based on the pictures that were leaked, but based on the actual patent itself, how much of it is going to stay? Because if you guys can remember back to when the Wii U was revealed as Project Cafe before we actually knew what it was. You know, it was rumored to have a screen on the controller and some of these other things like the NFC reader and things like that, but we didn't have an actual picture of what it looked like. It was just kind of people speculating on what it looked like. And lo and behold, even though it didn't look like what we imagined it looked like, it did have those features. So I don't really know. Um, I really don't know what to make of it. Obviously, if it were real, Nintendo would have taken it down with the quickness. The Nintendo ninjas are real. <laughs> if there is something that was posted that was off base, they're going to make sure that is off of the internet immediately. So maybe we don't have too much to, to think about. Maybe it's just a concept and that's all it was and it was scrapped. We don't know how long ago the patent was filed. We don't know how long ago that patent was written up. And just like many other companies, including Nintendo, these companies make patents all the time to kind of cover their butts and to kind of show if there were a situation where there was a legal battle that this was something that was already in development. So we just have to take the wait and see approach. But I do think it would be really smart for Nintendo to take advantage of the hype of the Nintendo X currently and to just reveal it, talk about it, unveil that sucker, let us know what exactly is going on. Because obviously the hype is there. People who don't even have an affinity for Nintendo, or even people who are indifferent to Nintendo, are talking about the supposed NX. So, we'll see how it goes. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!